Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Monday the 4th of April 2016. Just before we go any further, the next Market Alert will be Wednesday morning. I will be missing in action on Monday, won't be here on Tuesday morning, and therefore I will be playing catch-up on Wednesday. Right, so the figures were released on Friday, the uh, non-farm payroll figures. They came out uh, better than forecast, as did the average uh, hourly earnings and uh, the unemployment rate as well, along with the ISM manufacturing. So again, this is just exactly what the Fed wants. The market will respond positively to this, which it did. Gold and silver move sharply lower. And then just to add into the mix at 3 p.m., we had a revised consumer sentiment, which of course is what keeps the uh, incredibly stupid debt-based economy going. People buying rubbish and then keeping it for a few weeks, then taking it to the tip and then keeping the same insanity going in order to keep the economy going. And then we had uh, Mester speaking at 5 p.m., but a uh, bit of a, a non-entity there. So the market's uh, reaction yesterday We'll look at uh, the daily chart. We had the figures come out at 1.30. The market moved lower. This is uh, just typical to get a lot of people to go short. And then, of course, they reverse the market. This signal here is at 3 p.m. The ISM manufacturing high impact news item. Does it mean that you can't trade it? No, it doesn't. Because uh, this is a bang on 3 p.m. Then we get the market's reaction. So if this is marked up here, you can see it took until 10 past, uh, sorry, uh, until uh, five minutes after before the market actually moved higher. Plus it was positive. And again, we know that the market is going to use this to move prices higher. And that's precisely what it did. And we see the market then drive higher. And if we just uh, grab the extension, there's the markets making these rising lows. The market still holds here, then drives through the next psychological level of 17,700 and then get stopped out at 17712. The entry price around there, 98 point uh, thereabouts uh, profit on this trade. The second long is uh, ignored because the markets or trade is already in progress with the stop being trailed there as well. Later on in the session, we get another buy signal. This time, this one fails with a 26 point loss. And then we're getting late into the session. As I've said before, uh, we're going counter to the trend at the moment. If we look at the daily chart, which is bringing the market back. And we see prices there trading up to the 17,792. And on uh, Friday, the market closed at uh, 17,793. So we're heading up to the 17,800 level for this market all on low volume bit of an increase yesterday obviously because of the release of the non-farm pay figures the market moving down and then being brought back let's just go back to the new section see what we've got out uh, for monday uh, nothing on monday 3 p.m factory orders that's all we've got so it could be fairly quiet even sideways to low as we see some profit taking from friday unless of course something else comes out of the woodwork we've got um, on Wednesday FOMC meeting minutes uh, that's going to be a big one the market's going to be waiting to see if Yellen's going to increase uh, interest rates She's also speaking on Thursday as well so we're, again they're wheeling the big guns out uh, this week from Wednesday so it could be fairly quiet for Monday and Tuesday as well the implied volatility down at 1167 and again this is uh, setting up beautifully now for a good market correction can't give you the date or time but i know it's on the way because every time this has happened we've always had a move or a big move in the underlying market i.e to the downside on the dow but the thing is is to be forewarned of what uh, could happen in fact uh, just to paint a scenario as the unemployment figures were so strong and this is something that yellen has been banging on about for an awful long time the strong labor market i wouldn't be at all surprised if she's not painted into a corner to consider and i say consider uh, if, and if she doesn't, her rhetoric will be to actually raise rates once more. And we all know what happened after the 31st of December when she did that the last time. Right, that's it uh, for today. I'll see you in Wednesday's uh, Market Alert. As ever, thanks for your support also for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.